Last time I used the Merca 37C was a couple of years ago in 2022. So this is kind of a revisit to the razor for me. I'm going to share some important stuff about the features and design of this razor. I'm also going to do a demo show. So we're going to do a quick shave. And I'll share some feedback and some opinions on my experience with it. So what is said about these slant razors is what makes them different. Obviously the, the design is, is, is very different from a standard DE razor because it's kind of buckled. So it's said that slant razors, what makes a difference in these with the shave is rather than cutting through the hair it kind of slices through the hair now i don't know how that works i'm not an engineer or a designer so i just kind of follow what's what's what he said about it i've also seen it mentioned that these originally came about because of having thin blades very thin blades needed this type of design however I, I i can't vouch for any of that and the most important thing for me is just to see how it performs how does it shave and does it meet certain needs whether that's to shave coarse growth to create less irritation to shave daily you know what, whatever that is I mean, you know this is designed anyway for shaving coarse growth and merca states the merca 37c razor is a slant bar razor for wiry and dense beards due to its weight and slant bar head it can it, it can handle even the most difficult tasks easily and thoroughly so that's what merc has to say in this razor my past experience of the 37c was it gave efficient shaves on about three days of growth over, or three days plus of growth however i did shave also on two days of growth and i picked up some irritation but i never picked up any cuts or nicks or anything like that just a, just a bit of irritation i don't have a great memory of using it so it's going this is going to be interesting my memory of it lies on the website shavingadvisor.com where i use this and i've done a review for that so you can take a look at the review for that in the description that i'll link you straight to the website there'll be all sorts of other links as well to other products that i use within the review in the demo shave like the soap and bowl and stuff let's get a close up of the features and design so just like the Merca 34C, which I have one of them here on the right hand side, it's a short handled razor and it's a two part, so two part razor comes, we can do this knob at the bottom, pull out the top, slip, slip the blade inside there. The handle's finely knurled, so you've got some grip there, but this, this knob at the bottom as well also offers some grip. Also when this comes apart, this can also be released here, we'll take, we'll take that out if you need to clean inside properly but what you have to do is make sure that this is lined up to reinsert it again sometimes that doesn't that that sometimes that doesn't line up so you may have to get some pincers or pinch your fingers in maybe and get it back inside it can be tricky there we go so obviously this is a slant razor that's what makes it a different type of razor than others and i'll show you how it curves you'll notice how that kind of looks buckled there yeah and that slants across there so it's very different from an ordinary top de razor one thing i've noticed that i haven't seen mentioned as well is if we take a look at the merca 337 the bottom plate there it's these gr these grooves here are quite small now if you take a look at the 37c the very deep grooves there almost like it's going to become an open comb razor but it's not you know it's still closed still got a closed safety bar but just just worth noting so it's a short stubby razor that's only 83 millimeters 3.25 inches long and it weighs 2.7 ounces 76 grams so it's quite weighty for a small razor right ready to rock and roll we've got about four days of growth there so that's plenty of this razor it kind of likes coarse growth so four days it's going to like that the shaving lubricant of choice today is a tailor of bond street sandalwood shaving cream I've used this plenty of times before i'm trying to use it for a few times testing out some sandalwood creams and soaps and comparing them so we're reusing this again i'll also be using the tubs aromatherapy pre-shave of it a bit more protection and i'll be using the simpson trafal with t3 shaving brush synthetic shaving brush which is a really great brush alongside the fine recruitment shaving bowl. I think we're going to lather up in a bowl today rather than face lather. Just as fancy bowl lathering, not for any particular reason, or one's better than the other, just today is a, a bowl lathering day. And a razor blade of choice is going to be Persona Platinum. It seems to have more sharpness than Astra and Derby, but not quite a, not quite a feather blade, somewhere, somewhere in between. But we'll, we'll go for this one today. I'm aware that the last razor I've used have all been quite mild razors. I've used the Merca 34C, King C Gillette, and a couple of other ones. I did some videos on those. So I'm just aware that my skin at the moment is quite used to a mild razor. So, so I know this razor is somewhat aggressive and skin. The skin using these times to adjust to certain razors. We'll see how it goes. So to pop a blade in the two piece, 
There's the post there. Get a blade safely. Pop on the blade, the persona blade. And there we go. The weirdness of slant razors. There's such a weird razor. Well, I've washed and dried my skin, so I was going to put some of this aromatherapy pretty shave oil by Tobs on. I only need a small amount of this stuff. Tobs is, Tobs is very thick pre shave oil. No pre shave, get this oil cleaned off, otherwise it ends up all on the, over the razor. Now, while that pre shave is soaking in a little bit, I can get the, get the lava made of. Here's about that much of this Tobs. Nice scent. I like this fine recruitment's bowl, but they are quite big. They have great ribs inside there to help your lava, but this, you've got to kind of like, like a quite a big lava bowl. We're about done there, I think. Should have enough there, I reckon. Okay, let's get this painted on then. That should do us. Well, I'm not sure how many passes I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of uh, just just shave and see how we go with it. Do the first pass and see how my skin's getting on. Okay, efficient. Don't, it doesn't feel too aggressive, actually. Okay, first pass done. Let's, let's spill this up and see where we're at. Okay, not bad. Yeah, definitely need a second pass. I could, I could just leave it there actually. People who need to do a single pass shave. Yeah, that would, that would do it. But I'm not going to do a single pass. I'm going to go do a second pass. I've dried off my skin, so I'm going to put another portion of pre-shave off made by tubs just to give my skin some added protection and it does something after the shave I feel it gives it some additional moisturizing and a fresh coat of lava Okay, second pass. It looks like I'm going to end up doing three, three passes, I think, so I'm going to go across the brain on my cheeks there. Oh yeah, very efficient. One thing I know, despite my hair being, my growth being quite long, it, there was no tugging at all, any blade, blade clatter or whatever we call it. Um, yeah. Very efficient. Okay, 
that's quite a weighty razor, so I'm not able to just be quite loose in the hand loose without putting much pressure on. It's not that audible, but it's certainly cutting the hair away. I'd expect to, to, to be, it, I'd expect it to be more audible, but it's, it's not, but it's not that it's not cutting hair. Right, okay, so on my neck, because I know the growth pattern of my neck, my hair grows that way. So I'll go what would seem to be up against the grain, but it's not. It's some bits are, some are not because of different growth patterns, but I know my growth pattern anyway, so I'll, I'll shave upwards. I'm gonna to top up the lava actually. Okay. Here's the sort of areas for me to be a bit cautious. Right, let's rinse up and see where we're at. Right, you know what? That's that's more or less done. It's more or less done. Two passes. All I've got now, all I've got to do now is a couple of touch ups. I've got a little bit of touching up to there, a little bit there. And that is about it. Yeah. Wow, that was, that was pretty good. I'll just put some lava and do a few touch-ups. Let's put a thin thin layer on. All right, I'll go along this side here, as always. And you get an extra touching up there. All right, that's it, let's feel the rain now, feel the rain now. We go a little bit there. Here's where you can get irritation, but I just find if I rub cream around here or lava, or lava, lava or lubrication, and just do the hairy like this with the razor did the work. That's when I get a BBS shave, you know, baby butt smooth shave. Otherwise, if you don't, you want to just take care of your skin, don't mess about like this and potentially cause irritation. Okay, that's gonna do now. Let's split up. Okay, where are we at? Job done, yeah. I mean, I'm quite surprised actually. I don't remember it being that good. Yeah, excellent shave. Because I've used a pre-shave and the Tobbs cream, I wanna kind of see how they are after shaving without adding anything on my face. That's the way I kind of test the products. Some feedback, so I wouldn't call this, it's quite aggressive, but I call it kind of medium and aggressive. But it's, it seems more of what I've seen other people say, is it's very efficient. Now that was four days of growth and that was obviously ideal for that, was three or four days. My past experience was great. Two days wasn't as good, but who knows if I tried it again, maybe I'm, I'd be better with two days. Now I don't know, has my skill set changed with razors? I don't have a clue. So who's it best suited for? So I think any guys that have got quite coarse growth, wiry growth, you know, people have got very soft beards, um, soft growth, younger guys that maybe don't, don't need something that's quite as aggressive or efficient as this. I don't think it's gonna be that great for people who shave daily. But maybe people who use an open comb razor, I like my open comb razors. Um, and I thought after using this, I'm gonna think, oh, I wish I was using the Muller R41 or something like that. However, what I'm not, I'm like, wow, that was great. And that's very guys job done. Do have a look in the description, you'll see reviews for those that I've used and I, and I put a review up and give my experience of them, including a review on the website for this razor and other related razors. Now, I guess the best next video to do will be the Merca 39C, which is a similar razor to this, but it's got the long, much longer handle, but it has the same top. If you like the video guys and like to stay up to date with any of the latest reviews that are coming out, do hit the subscribe button. You'll get the notification once it's live. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.